Good evening. Uh, you're watching the 7 o'clock English news from the Salted Oberman Television. First, the headlines. Upon royal orders of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Said Asad bin Tariq Al Said arrives in Jordan to take part in the 28th regular Arab summit. The State Council Office reviews the draft laws of protecting fallage sites included in the World Heritage List and the GCC trademark. The Smart City Summit reviews the global trends in the implementation of smart cities and means of applying them in the Sultan. And the School Safety and Security Conference discusses the usage of technology to enhance security of school buses and students. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Highness said Assad bin Tariq bin Taymur Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for Relations and Information, International Cooperation Affairs, Special Representative of His Majesty, arrived in the Jordanian capital Amman to lead the Santos delegation to the 28th regular Arab summit, which will be held tomorrow in the Dead Sea. His Highness Prince Hashim bin Al Hussein, Senior Secretary, led the welcoming party as His Highness Said Assad arrived in the Royal Suite at Queen Alia Airport. He was also received by His Excellency Dr. Hani Al-Mulki, Prime Minister of Jordan, His Excellency Engineer Imad Fakhouri, Minister of Planning and International Cooperation, His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Al-Mumni, Minister of State for Information Affairs, and His Excellency Ahmed Abdul Ghaith, Secretary General of the Arab League. His Highness Said Asad bin Tariq Al Said is accompanied by an official delegation comprising His Excellency Yusuf bin Ali bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Legal Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Fuad bin Jafar bin Mohammed Al Sajwani, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, His Excellency Khalifa bin Hamad Al Badi, Advisor at the Office of the Representative of His Majesty the Sultan. His Excellency Saif bin Ahmed Al Sawafi, advisor in the office of the representative of His Majesty the Sultan. His Excellency Khamis bin Mohammed Al Farsi, Sons Ambassador accredited to Jordan. His Excellency Ali bin Ahmed Al Isai, Sons Ambassador to Egypt, permanent envoy to the Arab League. His Excellency Abdullah bin Hamad Al Badi, head of the Human Resources Department and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And Ambassador Mubarak bin Hamad Al Mukhaini, head of the Arab League Department at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Upon royal order of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Said Asad bin Tariq bin Taymur Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Relations and International Cooperation Affairs, Special Representative of His Majesty, left the country heading to the, uh, leading the Santos delegation to the 28th regular Arab summit due to be held in Jordan. His Highness Said Asad bin Tariq Al Said was seen off upon departure by His Excellency Nasr bin Hamoud Al Kindi, Secretary General of the Royal Court Affairs. His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Hamad Al Romhi, Minister of Oil and Gas, Her Excellency Aisha bin Khalfan Al Siabiya, Chairperson of the Public Authority for Crafts and Industries, His Excellency Sheikh Saif bin Mohammed Al Shabibi, Minister of Housing, Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bin Ahmed Al Shibaniya, Minister of Education, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Omar Al Marhoun, Minister of Civil Service, His Excellency Saif bin Mohammed Al Abri. Secretary General of the Office of the Representative of His Majesty the Sultan and His Excellency the Charge the Affairs of the Jordanian Embassy in the Sultans. The draft law of organizing and protecting fallage sites included in the World Heritage List as well as the draft law of the GCC trademark were the most prominent projects discussed during the State Council Office sixth meeting for the second annual round of the term today. The office also discussed the Memorandum of Understanding draft between the State Council and the Pakistani Senate 
proposal of forming a parliamentary friendship committee to strengthen the existing relations between the Sultanate and Pakistan. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Mahfoud al Mandari, Chairman of the State Council. The Information Technology and Communication as Exhibition COMEX 2017 was launched at Oman Convention and Exhibition Center with the participation of 14 public organizations and more than 100 IT and communication private companies. The event was organized by the Oman International Trade and Exhibition Company with the support of the Information Technology Authority. It included various sections, namely e Oman and a special pavilion for the leading IT and C companies from the Sultanate and other countries, in addition to a marketing division that will display the latest technological products of interest to customers. The event was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Al Fadl bin Mohammed Al Harthi, Secretary General of the Council of Ministers. On the sidelines of the IT and Communications Exhibition 2017 COMEX, the Smart City Summit was also held under the theme Empowerment of Smart Nation. It came to review the global trends in the implementation of smart cities and means of applying them in the Sultanate through setting up the infrastructure and the unified national networks. It also discussed the real challenges facing the smart cities and the possible solutions to overcome such challenges. The summit also presented the potential benefits from the implement, implanting the smart city solutions in economic fields, sustainable development and other fields as well. The School Safety and Security Conference in the beginning of the works called upon to make use of the technology to enhance security of the education environment and safety of the school buses and students. The two-day conference organized at the Ministry of Education Theater in al Utoya witnesses the participation of a number of governmental and private institutions. The conference coincides with the issuance of the Omani Child Law, which resulted in decreasing the number of accidents involving school buses, therefore the need of employing a supervisor on the school buses were discussed during the conference. The Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries well stressed that uh, it took all the precautionary measures to ensure the safety of products imported from Brazil. It also directed the specialists in veterinary quarantine offices at all border crossings to intensify monitoring and examination procedures. The issuance of new import licenses from this country were also stopped currently. The companies and slaughterhouses involved are also being monitored. Contacts are being made with the government of Brazil through official channels to clarify the situation. Still to come on News Bulletin, Oman Air launches direct flights between Muscat and the Kenyan city of Nairobi to become the 55th international destination. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Sultanate participated today at the works of the 55th meeting of the Executive Board of Arab Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions that is hosted by the state of Qatar. The two-day meeting discussed the reports of the Executive Board's activity and the General Secretary's latest activities. It as well discussed the report of the Professional and Regulatory Standards Committee in its 10th meeting. The meeting also reviewed the report 
of the organization's Institutional Capacity Development Committee in its 11th meeting and the naming of an evaluation committee to oversee the 12th competition of the scientific researchers. The Strategic Planning Committee's uh, report was also reviewed. The Santos delegation to the meeting was chaired by His Excellency Sheikh Nasser bin Hilal al Maori, Chairman of the State Finance and Administrative Audit Apparatus. The Technical Committee concerned with urban planning reviewed around 81 technical and planning topics in the governance of North and South Baltina. The committee also discussed topics of changing the usages of land plots in addition to giving a visual presentation by real estate developers and consultancy offices on the economic projects and touristic investments in the two governorates. It's worth mentioning that the number of projects in the two governorates reached eight, consisting of malls and major touristic projects. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Engineer Saif bin Amr al Shakhsi and the Secretary of the Ministry of Housing. <coughs> the Joint Committee among the Ministry of Health, Sultan Qaboos University and Oman Medical Specialty Board during its meeting discussed a number of topics related to the latest developments in nursing college in terms of academic accreditation for bachelor's program. It also reviewed the preparation for the second international conference of the nursing college the meeting also focused on a training program for doctors supervised by Sultan Qaboos University, the possibility of specializing extra seats for employees in the university hospital to study in Oman Nursing Institute, also topped the discussions of the committee. The regulation framework of the Islamic banks in the Sultan and the mechanism of legislative uh, Arbitration were the main goals of the fourth meeting of the Governance and Ethics Board in the Accounting and Auditing Authority for Financial Institutions in Muscat. The meeting also discussed the external legislative review and the primary study as well as observations on ethics and a commitment to legislations and insurance classifications of those institutions. The Accounting and Auditing Authority for Islamic financial institutions is responsible for developing and issuing legislative standards for the Islamic finance sector. In order to fulfill the increasing demand of travelers and implementation of its plans aiming to expand the network of Oman Air launched its direct flights between Muscat and the Kenyan city of Nairobi at a rate of four weekly flights to become 55th destination of the Sultan's national carrier and first to Kenya. The new flight will enable Kenyans and other travelers to reach the international Oman Air Network and will contribute in bol bolstering the political, economic and social bonds between the Sultan and Kenya. The launch of the new route coincides with the Oman Air expansion plans, which includes the received receival of the new Boeing aircraft by the end of the current month and operation of daily direct flights between Muscat and Manchester in the UK in the month of May. In addition to increasing the number of flights to India, Bangladesh, Thailand and Malaysia, as well as signing code sharing agreement with Lufthansa, Lufthansa and the United Aviation. We are very happy to contribute further to the increase of air bridges between the Sultanate of Oman and the rest of the world. And Nairobi is offering us a new entrance to Africa next to our existing routes to Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar. In Nairobi, we will have the opportunity to further cooperate with Kenya Airways. And Kenya Airways will offer us beyond Nairobi also connections on the mainland of Africa. Africa is an important continent and a growing important continent due to the fact that the economic development there is really taking off. It is not only bringing us tourists from Kenya to Oman, but from the other side it is also making it possible from our new Kwangzhou route 
to bring guests from China via Oman to Africa. The Omani Theatre Association organized a ceremony to celebrate the World Theatre Day, which falls on the 27th of March each year. It came to stress on the role of theatre in the development of creative ideas among the nations. The association, through this celebration, aims to create an environment for the Omani artists to join the world artists in theatre field and exchange ideas as well as knowledge. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Abdul Munaim Al Mansour Lahsani, Minister of Information. <coughs> At a cost of uh, more than 2.4 million Omani rials, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth starts implement implementation of deepening the basin of the sea fishing port of Raisut in the Governorate of Bufar and the installation of the floating dock. The, this project includes removing the old dock, clearing sand from the pots basin, and maintenance of lampposts, as well as preparing the soil examination report and excavation of the pots land. This project comes within the efforts of the Directorate General of the Fishing Port to the Ministry, seeking to help fishermen pursue their activities at ease. Oman English-speaking journalists uh, during their recent tour to Dukhum Special Economic Zone have also visited the Rock Park, one of the touristic sites. Ma more details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Rubai. Dukum, a special economic zone, is playing a vital role in Oman's economic growth. The advancement of its development was highlighted and witnessed by the recent visit made by Oman English-speaking journalist organized by CZUD. The billions worth of investment have facilitated the construction of dry docks, roads and hotels in addition to the new airport. This Dukum Industrial Center has grown towards playing a vital role in Oman's economy. During the visit, the media personnel looked at other area of economic diversification, and that is tourism. Here, they have visited one of the touristic sites in Dukum. This rock park, which is one of Oman's most extraordinary geological sites, this rock park formed from soft sedimentary tertiary limestone, rock wind and erosion has carved the rock into a remarkable series of natural sculpture. These rocks are scattered naturally all over the park in different forms, raise many questions about their presence in this particular area. The poet Shauqi Abdul Amir in his past visit highlighted a beautiful painting of an area in Caesar. It's the wind and erosion that chiseled them, geologists would say, while anthropologists, along with lovers of fables and myths, would claim they are cursed metamorphoses after a great scene. The layout of these rocks here is so beautiful. Visiting this place here, you will have a special feelings about it. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubai. Sultan of Oman Television, Ad-Dukum. Now for the general the focus around the Sultan, uh, clear to partly cloudy skies prevail over the northern governorates uh, with chances of scattered rains. The governorate of Musandam, rest of the Sultan, will have clear skies and winds will be south to southeasterly light to moderate and seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters.